Let's continue with looking, looking at an example of how we can calculate emissions. What do we need for calculating emissions? This is an example of firewood logs that are burned in a stove or fireplace. On the left, you can see an image of a fireplace or a stove where you have one log of wood. And now for the calculations, one log of wood here uh, equals to one megajoule of energy in, in the wood. And the calculation I show here, it's similar to uh, what is applied in integrated assessment model gains, for which there's a bit more of information in the, in the course website. Okay, first of all, we need to know a factor called emission factor. This tells, the emission factor tells us how much a certain process produces pollutants per certain unit of activity. So here, uh, our unit of activity is this one megajoule of energy in wood. And now we can think how many milligrams of, for example, uh, aerosol particles, particulate matter is emitted when this is burnt. If we now set on fire this one megajoule of wood, look what is coming out and we realize that that's 50, mil, 50 milligrams of particulate matter. This would mean that our emission factor is 50 milligrams per megajoule. Okay, the next thing we need to know is how much of wood we have. Let's say now we put uh, two logs of wood. So it's in total two megajoules and then simply calculating the emissions is multiplying these two megajoules by the emission factor, and we get total emissions of 100 milligrams. Okay, uh, now we have to see that this um, equipment we had here is a traditional stove. Uh, there's no emission control on it. It's just burning the wood and looking what comes up. Actually, when we are going, to, going forward with the calculations, we use other um, factors there, like a redux, reduction efficiency, which tells how much a certain technology decreases the emissions, and then multiplying the, the unabated, the original emission factor with the reduction efficiency, we get the abated emission factor. The emission factor that there is after some emission abatement technology is applied. Now for our case, when there was no control, no abatement technology involved, the uh, reduction efficiency is 0% and then abated emission factor equals the unabated one. And this is how the emission, emissions are then calculated for a single uh, technological uh, solution. Here, it's multiplying the sectoral activity times the abated emission factor. But let's see how the emission, uh, abatement technologies work. Now let's consider that we have, we want to improve the combustion and we improve the airflow in the fireplace. As we have learned, uh, if there's more oxygen, uh, then the, the combustion is cleaner, larger part of, of the carbon is burned to carbon dioxide and then less other pollutants, uh, less, less air pollutants are formed. When we put this uh, increased airflow on, we see that the emissions decrease. And now let's say it occurs that the reduction efficiency of this improved airflow is 40% we get our abated emission factor as 40% of the unabated emission factor, in this case, 30. And the total emissions from these two logs of wood decreases to 60, uh, 60 milligrams. Then let's see if we have, let's say a village where there are several uh, fireplaces where wood is burned. We have 10 fireplaces with no control, 
technology and 30 fireplaces with improved airflow. Each of these stoves now burns two logs of wood, so two megajoules of wood. So in order to cal calculate the total emissions for this village for a certain time when all the fireplaces burn two megajoules of, of uh, wood, we need to know first of all the total sectoral uh, activity. Here it's 10 times 2 plus 30 times 2 megajoules equaling 80 megajoules in total. We know the emission factors for both the traditional stove and the improved stove. And in addition, we need to know the percentage, the share of different technologies. And now as we have, we see that we have 25% of the total number of stoves controlled, not controlled, and 75% of them controlled with this improved airflow. And now to calculate the total emissions, it is simply to multiply the emission factor, the abate, sorry, sectoral activity, abated emission factor, and the share of capacities control. And we get the emissions from these different types of stuff. And to get the total emissions, we simply sum those together, and we have the total emissions from the village during the time when two logs of wood are burned in each of the fireplaces. Then we can think what would change the emissions in this village. Of course, if we change the share of different stops, in, uh, change the rest of the no control stops to improved stops, we would decrease the emissions. Also, if we bring in a new um, uh, abatement technology, we could change the emissions. And finally, of course, if we change the activity, less wood is burned, then less emissions come. And there's a task then after this in the, uh, in the course for which I guess this helps you somewhat. Thanks.